Aloha, I'm Chris Berman, and coming up on ESPN, you're just about ready to go from the great northwest. The King Dome is gone. Goodbye. And in its place stands the beautiful new stadium as the NFL on ESPN get set to bring this one your way. New Orleans Saints, Seattle Seahawks. It's go time. We'll pick up the action midway through the first quarter. Number three needed to be on target here, and he was. An eight-yard touchdown for the Seahawks. The Seahawks get the first points of the game and go up by seven. Seahawk towards the end of the first quarter. The ball at the 42. Number three is going to find his man out of the backfield, and the defense just can't react in time. A 41-yard touchdown for the Seahawks. Saints still late in the first. Saints trailing by 14. Number 13 was definitely a key as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. They climb back into the game, now down by seven. The Saints again have it. Number 41 emerged as a real weapon as he pulled one in here. A 53-yard touchdown for the Saints. Game tied, 14 all. Number 16 is going to try to stretch the field here. He's going to make them pay. A 36-yard play that set up a Seahawk touchdown. Saints later in the second. Number two connected with his man on this one. That set up a short 23-yard field goal. Seahawks late into the second quarter. Seahawks out in front by four. Number three would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. The Saints back on offense after a missed field goal. Number two would put this pass right where it needed to be. A five-yard touchdown for the Saints. Saints ahead, 24 to 21. Number three would find his target on this one. And Seahawks are in a shootout, 24 to 21. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Number 14 makes him pay. He's running a deep route. And this ball is right where it needs to be. That set up a 33-yard field goal. The Seahawks tie it up again, 24 all. Number two would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. The Hawks, after a missed field goal, game tied, 24 all. Number three would find his target on this one. Number 40 would come up with a big play here as he gets the carry and has clear sailing ahead. A 78-yard touchdown for the Saints. Saints up 31 to 24. Number three connected with his man on this one. The Saints backed up against their own goal line. Number two connected with his man on this one. Saints ahead by seven. Number 82 did his part by getting himself open on this one. They're now up by 14. The Saints have it after a turnover on downs. Number 41 let his big old offensive line pave the way on this one. That set up a 27-yard field goal. Saints leading 41 to 24. Number 14 emerged as a real weapon as he pulled one in here. A 57-yard play that set up a Seahawk touchdown. The Seahawks climb back into the game, now down by 10. Ball at their own 40. Number three would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. And Saints win this one, 41 to 31. Now let's catch up with the player who really ignited his team's offense with his death passing and has earned our Player of the Game award. Number two was kind enough to give us a moment of his time, and he's on the field with Susie Calva. Susie? Thanks, Chris. You gave an outstanding effort, and you helped carry your team to a nice win. What made the difference for you guys to come out triumphant today? I was feeling pretty good today, and things was just rolling for me. From the moment I stepped on the field, I felt like I could help us win this game, and that's what I had to do. Back to you, Chris. I'm Chris Berman, and that concludes our broadcast of the NFL on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Take care. We'll see you next time.